Joe the Juggernaut Joy! Big Joe Joyce is number two heavyweight in the world. And who knows if he's number one. One day, Andy the Destroyer! The juggernaut Joe Joyce, the talented, promising boxer with an undefeated record, is rocking the heavyweight division. The destroyer Andy Ruiz, the former champion with lightning speed and strength. Will these two different styles of boxing make an explosive match? And who will be the winner? Let's take a look in the video. But before you jump in, remember, like, subscribe, and tap the bell icon. You don't want to miss any updates from Boxing Insane. The explosion of talented boxers has disrupted heavyweight boxing rankings, such as Joyce and Andy Ruiz. Joe Joyce is currently an undefeated fighter with 15 consecutive victories. His most recent victory was against famous heavyweight Joseph Parker. Joyce submitted the former champion Parker to sustained assault and knocked him out with a tremendous left hook in the 11th. The victory secured Joyce a WBO interim title and earned him a place amongst the very best in the division. Andy Ruiz Jr. emerged as a phenomenon after famously stunning Anthony Joshua to become unified world champion back in 2019. His last fight was in September against Luis Ortiz. Despite being outboxed by the Cuban for portions of the fight, Ruiz floored his opponent three times, swinging judges' cards in his favor. Headed towards the end of the round, and Joshua's down! KO victory, and now the new... They are both talented and powerful heavyweights. So who will win the battle between these two warriors? Let's compare and see what you think. Both boxers used to have a common opponent, Joseph Parker. Joseph Parker fought Andy Ruiz back in 2016. this battle of unbeaten heavyweights, the highly touted boxer-puncher Joseph Parker scored a 12-round majority decision win over Ruiz to claim the vacant WBO heavyweight title at Vector Arena in Auckland, New Zealand. The cards read 115 to 113, two of them, but a third judge was unable to split the pair at 114 each. The bout itself was highly competitive when Ruiz forced the home fighter to trade, but for much of the time, the Mexican-American slugger found himself being picked off by crisp punches at long range. And Parker kept him honest with single, double, and triple jabs, and occasionally brought over a solid right cross. Let's look at Joseph Parker versus Joe Joyce. Parker, who previously went the distance with both Joshua and Dylan White, could not handle the brutal left hook of Joyce. The London-born 37-year-old delivered a stunning punch to win the WBO interim heavyweight title at Manchester Arena. For his opponent, Parker gave as good as he got and certainly hurt Joyce at times. He found joy with some powerful leading shots in the new interim champion's chin, but they were too few and far between to muster up any kind of real momentum.
Now let's look at bodybuilding for Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce is 6'6", 198 centimeters tall. He has a reach of 80 and a half inches, 204 centimeters. He significantly uses height and great reach to his advantage in the ring against his opponents. Andy Ruiz, between the two heavyweights, it's clear he's less marginalized in height and reach than Joyce. He's 6'2", 188 centimeters tall, with a reach of 74 inches or 188 centimeters. With that reach being so far apart from a large opponent, it's going to be difficult for Ruiz to deliver powerful and accurate punches. Furthermore, his weight used to be an obstacle for him as well, but now he's gone through a metamorphosis and dropped even more weight. Now working with a new trainer, it seems the focus of his camp is to be lighter on his feet and utilize speed. Let's talk power. For Joe Joyce, he's known for exceptional punching power and he has a granite chin. The juggernaut has established advantage over heavyweight rivals with five to six times the average human bone density. It explains why he's hard to beat. In addition, Joe Joyce's strength is also reflected in his devastating knockdowns. The juggernaut's defined as a force regarded as merciless, destructive, and unstoppable. Joe Joyce is definitely a dangerous opponent for anybody and will win a world title. Joyce going in for the finish. Still over a minute and a half to go in round four. Joyce oh, targeted the good body, body again. Shot. Andy Ruiz is nicknamed the Destroyer, and he holds both devastating knockout power and blinding speed, which fans can be sure to see put on display in the ring against Ortiz. Speed for Joe Joyce. The issue for him is he is a big, slow target, and that a skilled fighter like Andy Ruiz with quick hands and feet can box circles around him. For Andy Ruiz, he's clearly quicker than Joe Joyce, quick of hand and foot with respectable power in both hands. He has enthusiasm and speed. His style is getting to his opponent behind a deceptively fast jab and agile feet. His footwork is pretty much like the rest of his game, but he closes the distance before opponents know it. Stamina for Joe Joyce. It looks pretty pointless trying to hurt Joyce early in the fight. If anything, it seems to wake up the putney fighter, draining the energy and resources of the opponent and leaving them susceptible to heavy counters for the rest of the contest. For Andy Ruiz, the destroyer has quite a bit of stamina and his fighting tempo increases toward the end of the game. If you let your guard down, Andy will make you pay and this can be seen in Ruiz's battle with Ariola. Wilder's trainer claims Joe Joyce will be much tougher than Ruiz. Malik Scott, the head trainer for former WBC heavyweight champ Deontay Wilder, views Olympic silver medal winner Joe Joyce as a very dangerous opponent. He said that Joyce is a much better fighter for them concerning entertaining fight than Andy Ruiz. Ruiz would be a more marketable opponent because he's a former heavyweight champ, but Joyce is a much tougher opponent than Andy Ruiz. Joyce would beat Ruiz easily. How about you? Who'll win between the destroyer Andy Ruiz and the juggernaut? Leave your comment below and let us know. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and tap that bell icon. You don't want to miss any videos from Boxing Insane. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.